For whom do problems arise? They are also just illusions. Difficulties and pleasures are related to our ego. Ramana Maharshi The confusion and chaos that seem to prevail in this world do not reflect the truth. They are not reality. They are transient. This too shall pass. But our core is divine, it is God consciousness, the ultimate reality known as Brahman. This is genuine peace. We often find ourselves trapped in the material world and consider things to be real. Everything disturbs us, irritates us, makes us upset. However, the truth is that we are more than mere illusions. We are absolute reality itself, consciousness being. Know your true identity and awaken to freedom. Don't get attached to the vicissitudes of your body. Keep your mind elevated by keeping your feet firmly on the ground. Let me share a secret. There are no problems. There were never any problems. There are no problems today, and there never will be problems. The idea of problems arises when the world does not fit our desires. But in reality, there are no problems. Everything is happening as it should. Everything is in order. Forget yourself and expand your consciousness until it encompasses the entire universe. The reality that underlies the universe is pure consciousness, without problems and you are part of this reality. If you possess knowledge, Janana, the consciousness of truth, you find peace with yourself and the world because all happiness, joy, peace and love are names for Janana. As you awaken, you realize that everything is fine no matter where you are. All the solutions, wisdom, happiness and bliss you seek are within you. Sink into the center of your heart. Sit in silence everything will resolve itself. The secret to peace of mind is not identifying with anything other than your true self. And just like that, problems disappear, as noted by Robert Adams. If you identify with the body, you will see the world around you in a mundane way. But if you identify with the divine essence, everything will become divine, as Ramana Maharshi teaches us. Stop connecting to your body and mind. Don't consider yourself so important that you have to overcome a problem. This is the trap we fall into when we think we have to overcome a problem. It makes us feel important. But in reality, the I does not exist. If the I doesn't exist, your problem doesn't exist either. The problem only exists because we believe in our self. When we realize that the I does not exist, everything disappears. That's what I mean when I say, there are no problems. There never have been problems and there never will be problems. However, when we start thinking, problems arise. Don't try to change the external world. Work on yourself. Start seeing things from a new perspective. There are no good or bad, right or wrong things. It is thought that attributes these qualities. Stop thinking in terms of extremes, good or bad, right or wrong. Instead, look within yourself. Stay centered. See yourself as a divine being, an infinite being, totally free. Always remember deep in your heart that everything is okay and everything is unfolding as it should. There are no errors anywhere. What appears to be wrong is simply a creation of our own imagination. We live in a universe of Brahman, the absolute reality, where perfection, perfect life, perfect bliss and perfect being are the norm. This perfection, makes no distinction between right and wrong, good and bad, happy and sad. It only recognizes itself as perfection, and you are part of it. The place you are right now is the right place. This is the starting point. Stop wishing you were someone different and trying to change your life. You are exactly where you are supposed to be right now just as you are. A wise person does not seek to change anything. Only reality exists, and you are that. Only consciousness exists, and you are that. Only love exists, and you are that. If you realized who you really are, you would be the happiest person who ever lived, experiencing complete and unshakable happiness. Yes, this happiness exists, as does unshakable peace and love. However, you have chosen to identify with Maya, the Eleusian with unreality, and therefore you believe that you are suffering, you think your life is not what it should be, and you compare yourself to others,
constantly trying to make changes. You should know by now that when you make these changes, they are temporary, and you end up going back to the way you were before. For most people, happiness is conditioned by the presence of another person, a place, or a thing. But true happiness is not conditioned by anything. It is a natural state that you can maintain forever. There is always happiness, peace and love in you. It is not something you need to acquire, but your true nature. You can never suffer, in fact. There is nothing in this universe that can make you suffer. If you are suffering, it is your mind that is telling you things about someone, something, some place, or some illness. And that is why you suffer. You allowed yourself to think and believe your thoughts. Your thoughts have absolute control over you. The secret is to calm the mind. Your true nature is self-realization. When the mind becomes still, you return to your true nature, what you have always been. The only work you really need to do is to silence your mind. It is in silence that the ultimate truth is revealed. When the mind is silent, there is only eternal peace. Whenever you think, you stop reality from flowing. When your mind is calm and tranquil like a serene lake, you reflect your own divinity, become pure, happy, and all problems disappear. When the mind is still, you find happiness. Your job is to relax, stay calm, and be at peace. Dedicate more time to looking within yourself, observing and witnessing. When thoughts arise, simply ask yourself, who are these thoughts for? I see them. Who am I? What is the source of self? By doing this, a wonderful change will come in your life sooner or later and you will become free. Learn to observe your thoughts and separate yourself from them. Thoughts have no power by themselves. They seem to have power because you give them power by believing in them and following what they suggest. However, once you realize that thoughts are illusions, you will no longer be deceived by them. You will not be afraid. Thoughts are like the rope and snake you've heard about. You believed that a rope was a snake in the dark. But when you discovered the truth, you saw that it was just a rope, and your fear disappeared. Thought is like the rope and the snake. They have no real power, but you give them power when you believe in them. The mind is just a bunch of thoughts about the past and the future. The heart is a center of tranquility and absolute peace. Surrender your mind to your heart and you will experience this inner peace. Deep in your heart know that everything is okay. The universe is in your favor and nothing in the world can harm you. Love is the substrate of all existence and when you cultivate a loving consciousness there is no room for problems. Love takes care of everything. Remember that your true nature is love, peace and happiness. And when you silence your mind, you reconnect with this truth. Don't worry about the need to identify with these qualities. Instead, share your love, peace and happiness with the world, and you will become a light amidst the darkness. People will feel good around you, and you will find the peace that has always been within you. The universe is your ally, and the only thing that can go against you is your own thoughts. Learn to calm your mind, and you won't have any problems. The mind is the only burden you will ever have in your life. When you realize that the mind is just a bunch of thoughts, it loses its importance. You let go of it, recognizing that you are not the mind, but something beyond. As you progress, your mind and body become less important, and you stop identifying with them. This does not mean that you die, but that you realize that you are not your body or your mind. You exist as absolute reality, pure consciousness. Nothing can affect you except your own thoughts. The mind is just a bunch of thoughts about the past and the future, while the heart is a center of peace and tranquility. Leave the mind in the heart, and you will find eternal peace. Deep in your heart, know that everything is okay. The universe is your friend and cannot harm you. Love is the essence of everything. When you cultivate a loving consciousness, there is no room for problems. You are a manifestation of eternal love, peace, and happiness. Cultivate silence and you will discover your true nature. Remember that the ultimate truth is silence, not words. Therefore, do not go around proclaiming your truth, but act with love, peace, and happiness. Little by little, you will notice a change in your life and you will become free. Love everything. 
because everything is part of you. Don't fight, don't react, just watch. Understand that your mind and body are not you, and that nothing in the world can affect your true nature. Leave your mind in your heart, and feel inner peace. You are love, peace and happiness, and you have always been that way. Find that truth within yourself, and share it with the world. Be a light in the darkness, and people will feel good around you. The universe is on your side, and the only thing that can go against you is your own thoughts. Learn to calm your mind and you will live without problems. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like to strengthen our work. I'll wait for you in the next video.